Hello, my lovelies. And I hope you're all having a yarnalicious day. Um, I'm not really my jovial, gregarious self this morning. So just bear with me. If I'm a little humdrum, it's just a mood. It's nothing, nothing important. But anyway, I'm going to open up a, a Hirschner's box that came. And um, I'm having a hard time remembering my words so and remembering things in general so I really have no idea what I ordered like literally I have no idea what I ordered and I'm going to use my you call it a crane I would prefer to call it a hummingbird it's a crane bird no a humming crane whatever <laughs> okay we're gonna open up the box enough of that it's uh welcome to mama g gear mama g here and let's see what all we have in this box. If I can, yeah, I can't even, oh, you know, I'm, I'm wondering why I can't cut, but I was using my left hand and I'm right-handed, so that would probably be the reason why. Let's give it a spin. I also have a big bag, I'll show you that in a sec, of uh, order from Temu, or Timu, or T-E-M-U. It is the new wish.com, in my opinion, anyway. Um, and it's a rabbit hole you don't want to go down but I do have I did buy some more sunglasses because you know how much I like those and I bought a few things for Rusty so I'm not gonna open that today I'm gonna open that this weekend with Rusty okay I'm gonna rip this open so close your ears if you don't like noise oh, or not maybe it won't be that noisy yeah I can't even open a box what's up with this today there we go come on box all right, Lord have mercy on my soul here. Come on. Oh, that was rougher than I thought it would be. Okay, what did I order? I'll have to bleep that out. Well, it has my address, but you guys all know where I live. All righty. So they got a little catalog for 2023. Just showing their yarns, which is cool. I'm not interested. Um, I just like to look at it online. All right, so this yarn here, I literally, yeah, now I'm remembering. Well, obviously I remember now because I'm seeing it. I ordered 10 of these. It's a Super Saver Stripes. Interesting colors, pink, green, tans, as you can see, navy blue. Uh, there's uh, 236 yards in each. They were like a dollar and a quarter a piece or something like that. I don't know. It was really cheap. So I did order, I believe, 10 of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Or more than that, seven, eight, nine. There's 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I ordered 16 of them. Oh my. All right, so I got 16 of those. For that price, I figured I'm grabbing them because that was crazy cheap. And there, I bought enough so if I really wanted to do like a blanket or whatever. But I could make, um, I can use these for, you know, animal sweaters and stuff to donate. All right, also too, I guess they had It's a Wrap either on sale or I just happened to like it. But I grabbed two, I think, I don't remember how much these were. Let me see if, hold on, maybe it says it on here. I don't know if they do prices. Okay, so these these were $1.29. And these were $4.14. So that was a good deal. And I thought this was super pretty with the purples. And I mean, that's just so soft. It's a, uh, it's the, it's a wrap sprinkles, 50% acrylic, 50% cotton, cotton, and I'm trying to, boy, being, I'm almost 30, no, 36, 63, I'm numerically dyslexic, um, and I'm, I'm just still trying to pronounce my words properly because I realize that I don't do that. Uh, there's 623 yards or 570 meters. And I bought two of this color, which is, it's a two weight. The color is plum pudding. 
I just really thought that was gorgeous. And with that much yardage, 623, two of these would make a really beautiful shawl. So that was the intention. Not that I'm going to use it, but that'll go into like uh, the mystery box. And then this one I thought was really cool. These colors, a little more vibrant, same specs. This colorway is upside down. This colorway is Sunday, like an ice cream Sunday, not like the day of the week. But look how cool that is. It's got the different strands on there. I hope I'm close enough to see that. Yeah, so that's that was really pretty, and I love the blues and purples. So these these got what a, what an exciting, I'm being sarcastic, uh, box unboxing. I didn't realize. This is all I had. I might as well put this back in here. Anyway, the the, the um, it's a wrap, guys. Those are going to be probably put in the uh, mystery boxes. So uh, we do still have those. They're fifty dollars, sixteen for shipping, and that's in the forty-eight lower, forty-eight states. Otherwise, let me know. We can make some kind of arrangement um, as far as. Uh, if you want one and you're farther away, we can we can work on that and maybe help me pay with the shipping. Because, like, again, all the stuff's going to charity. All right, this is my huge, very heavy Tenmu uh, bag that we will open with, with Rusty. Okay. So, I did want to mention um, that we have three uh, giveaways going right now. One is our race to the 1,500 subscribers by February 18th when we're doing our live auction. So remember the live auction, 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time on the 18th. It's a Saturday. It's going to be at eight, at, right after Dee's Creative Hands Crochet. So if we can hit 1,500, in fact, let me bring that back over because I have this stuff right here. I've got to stretch. This was just a reminder of what's in there. This was the wool, the, um, the two purple hand dyed that I did myself, and the um, Elise with those two different colors, and the skirt, a uh, pocketbook, these Anayas, the Mandela coloring book, the little Elise, a silk, silk uh, pocketbook, some pride. Um, ribbon and there's also a whole set of colored pencils and art kit all right so that's what's in here if we hit 1500 oh excuse me hit 1500 subscribers by the 18th sorry that you're shaking a little there I'm not even center sorry um, no I'm not sorry I gotta stop saying that and if we hit 1,500 subscribers by the 18th, this box will go to a lucky, I gotta figure out how to squish it all in here, we will go to a lucky winner, public subscribed winner. Because it is for uh, our public, you know, for being a subscriber, that's what the giveaway is, so it's only fair. I don't always check when I do giveaways. I just hope that you guys are. And then the other two, uh, I literally just dropped one that was a secret giveaway in the original video. It was a secret giveaway. I'll show you this too while we're chatting. Um, in the, the original video, I don't know what happened. I put it through the um, U Cut editing and everything was fine when I was opening Dee's box that I won. And apparently you, you guys weren't able to see half of it which kind of defeats the purpose of seeing all the, the lovely yarn. So I redid it. So in the redo, it, it, the original was like a secret giveaway. In the redo, I just tell you straight up. So if you haven't already entered that, go check out the, um, I think I called it D over, or do over D's thing. Check that out because there is, um, there's going to be a mystery giveaway there. Also, the lower 48s, if you're outside of there, will either, you know, figure something out with shipping or give you a monetary uh, prize. And there was still another hidden giveaway, which I'm going to be pulling soon. So I will give you another hint. It's in a shorter video, not a short, but it's in a shorter video. I think the video that 
at the very end, it says, hey, throw this word and you're entered. Say this word in the comment and you're entered. And a lot of y'all didn't uh, catch it. So um, look for videos that are around three minutes and <laughs> check it out because it's in there. And I'm going to be pulling that winner uh, fairly soon. What this stuff is, Rusty picked up some sugar skull material. I have some different colors of the uh, threads, the uh, embroidery thread. I apologize ahead of time again for not being able to remember my words, but you guys know it's a, it's a brain thing. This is burlap. This is, um, I want to say linen. It's muslin, muslim, muslin, muslim. Uh, well, something like that. And then these are specific herbs. This is mugwort. This is, there's a tag in here somewhere. Here's the tag. Hold on. This is lavender. And this one is, oh boy, uh, Damiana, D-A-M-I-A-N-A -A -A leaf. So these are three herbs, and then we have raffia. And what's going to happen with all this, and also in this box, we love our cigar boxes. Let's turn it the other, oh, it's upside down. Oh, sorry about that big noise. In here are massive amounts of charms and skulls and human teeth. Yeah, that's like a tooth. Okay, and keys, and all these little, the little wrench, that's kind of cute. All of this is going to become voodoo dolls. We were commissioned to make, I don't remember how many, voodoo dolls for a bridal shower party and I need to get to it because I got to get these things done and mailed out. And I've been busy doing that, you know, other stuff and whatnot. So I didn't crochet or anything today. Just wasn't in the, the mood to do that. So I might try to start on this. So I, what I'm going to do is out of the muslin material, I'm going to cut out the voodoo dolls hand stitch them on the outside so you can see the stitches and the phrase hand stitch them I'll do like little faces or put a little tiny button or an X and then we're going to stuff them with polyfill and herbs and then maybe tie around the neck with some raffia we haven't quite gone figured that out yet and then um, these will be little bags that we'll probably put stones and maybe we'll put the herbs in here. I don't know. We haven't quite figured it out. So that's what we got to do. And this is something both Rusty and I have to do. So we'll probably do this, the, do it this weekend. And maybe we'll do a live while we're doing it. We need to practice a live before our auction live on the 18th. Anyway, so they smell great. I wish we had smell a vision because this, they smell fabulous. Yeah, so we're going to be doing voodoo dolls. We do other things besides crochet. And I guess that's about it. Other than, real quick, I had this very thick, beautiful color. And I crocheted, I'm not finished yet, I crocheted up and down and across with, I did, I think, a half double crochet. So it's really super thick. And now I'm going to crochet ends. But I might not use this. I might just use regular yarn. And this is going to be the bottom of, um, it's going to be a mop cover, flat mop cover for Rusty's house. Because she's got one of these big ones. And, um, you know, just to mop the floor and, and whatnot. But I figured instead of doing the thickness on the top part, I can make a whole nother one, make her two, and then she could use one for like, sopping up a mess and the other to wash the mess and you just pull these off throw them on the washing machine you know put them in a bucket with some soap and hot water and soap and just drop it in the bucket actually here's two more all these things right here isn't this great these are two that i'm giving away to someone these are finished ones 
it's not as thick and it's literally the square and then around the edge I just crochet around and do not uh, add to it so that it doesn't keep spanning out it just is square around and then weave in a uh, elastic and then tie the elastic and this fits over like the Swiffer size these are fabulous I'm telling you uh, there is a tutorial I believe I did do a tutorial if not you don't really need one because that's all you have to do all right but these are going to they're in a bag because I'm putting together a housewarming gift for someone so yeah that's pretty much what I'm doing love you guys um, be fabulous you know you are Apolo apologize for my little humdrumness and um, yeah be well and, and have a urinalicious day love you guys <laughs>